Hey there, Matt here. I want to give you a bit of a rundown of our large tradie trailer. Now, um, this tradie trailer, essentially the body is 2350 long. You'll probably find there's a lot of tradie trailers that exist on the market. They're this size, same size body. They're more expensive, but they've got a dual axle, okay? Where you'll see, for example, when I show you the XL, our XL is much better value because it's a similar price and it's also um, much bigger. So as far as what do you have in your large tradie trailer? Obviously your fridge slide that's standard on every model. Um, if you look at some of the other videos, they give you the, the um, dimensions, etc., of this particular fridge slide to save you the hassle. I might just measure it right now. So you've got basically 520 by 850, give or take, to fit the fridge. So you can fit a pretty big fridge in there, a bit of ventilation. You've also got your inlets here for your power, okay? So basically your Anderson plug. So if you've got a fridge, you can just plug it straight in with the Anderson plug. So that's sort of um, the fridge area. That's all standard as part of the standard package. You've got these two little side drawers. These are great for little things that you're, that you're using that always would otherwise float around, okay? Width-wise, you've got 180. Um, internally, you've got about 150. And then um, the depth-wise, you've got about 680. So all the drawers are pretty much the same size on all the different models as we go. Draw bar wise trailer-wise, it's all hot-dip galvanised, and then it's powder-coated. Your spare wheel on the front, your rack on the top, You've also got, obviously, your uh, electric brakes. So you're, you're, in this case, two-wheel electric brakes. So you've only got two wheels. Safety chain, shackles, um, the jockey wheel. There's a ton of different variants as, as far as um, jockey wheels go, but those ones seem to work okay. Internally, right? Now, bear in mind, like I said, there's trailers on the market. They'll have dual axles, but they're only, the body's only as big as this. So these are quite big trailers for a, for a single axle, but a lot of people like them. They're just a little bit more manoeuvrable if you don't have as much gear. I'll just open up the back for you as well. People often ask about central locking as well. Look, honestly, it's something that can technically be done, but it becomes unreliable. They jam up because of the type of locks they are, so we prefer to sit with this one. You might want to come back on this one, man. You want to come back around here. So, so internally, right, for the large in particular, you got your little, you got your little storage areas there. One of them will be inverters. Stay there, man. Stay there. Stay there. One of them will be inverters. And one is batteries. So you'll see here, you've got the dual batteries there and you've got your little extra storage there. So if, you, if we were putting um, the uh, solar in here, we'd eat up that with the inverter. So it'd take a bit of space. You've got a little rubber mat there as well. Okay, so quite handy. You can still, even though you've got batteries in there, depending what you, you've got, you can still put some other little bits and pieces in there. Okay, you can still lean over there, reach that. There goes your little rubber mat. Away she goes. Rear shelves, okay. Um, yeah, swing around there, that's it. Rear shelves, okay, um, basically, depth wise and they're same on every model you're basically 380 and then in between if you're just looking straight up in between call it about 270 in between the bottom one 240 for the next one and if you're sliding something in here you've got about 180 but obviously the internal depth is much higher at about 400 so it's pretty decent um all led lights on the rear of them slide out drawers obviously model by model probably the number of thing one thing with the slide out drawers you want to just watch that you don't overload them okay um because these these models fine but some of the bigger models and the longer drawers you can easily you can easily overload them okay you're probably saying hey you can't quite fit underneath that bottom line is i'm six foot four so it depends who you are and the trailer's on a bit of a lean anyway so these drawers in the large basically coming in at 450 and then internal depth, okay, um, call it about 980. It's a little bit bigger, but I'm sort of going internal lip to internal lip there, okay? So you got two of those, nice and easy, slide in, okay? Um, once again, the big, the longer the drawers are, the more you risk overloading them. So it's got to be, you got to use a little bit of nous as far as um, doing that. As far as the rest of the trailer goes, um, not just lights down here, we've got lights up here as well, so it's a little bit more visible when people are behind you. Um, a little roller here, so essentially if you're putting something up on the roof, you can roll it. A lot of people buy these for camping as well, surprisingly. Um, they buy them for camping and then, um, yeah, roll forward from there. The front of it, a little bit lean down. You've got plenty of room on the rack, rack bolts on. You know, it's very rare for someone to say that they don't want the rack. So everyone takes the rack. It's all part of, like, basically what you're looking at here is 100% standard package. Over and above this, if you, if you look at what I've just showed you there, that's the standard package. And then if you want the premium, that's got the... The 240 in, 240 out, the inverter, the solar charger, the solar panel. It's also got um, 
uh, the water tank, the water gauge, basically all rigged up. That's like the extra cost. All the prices are below as well. So hopefully that um, explains the um, large um, uh, trade each other. So you've got standard and premium packages, which are all laid out um, on our website anyway. If you haven't been there already, go to tradytrailerking.com.au. If you're interested to know more, um, go ahead, give us a call or um, drop us an email or go to tradytrailerking.com.au forward slash step three and I can happily run through everything, give you a big bit of a rundown on everything and um, yeah, if there's any questions and we get one sort of turnaround time frame is reasonably quick depending on the time of the year, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Hope that helps and looking forward to helping you more.